So what is tactile biofeedback? Well, just as in visual biofeedback, we're accessing a child's visual sense to help them more effectively learn. What we're doing is accessing the tactile sense. And so the visual sense makes a lot, a lot of intuitive, you know, it makes a lot of sense to an SLP. We understand and have, know that there's a strong evidence base for the visual side of in speech production, well, the tactile is incredibly important as well, and I'm going to show you some uh, some some basic science research in a few moments. It suggests how important tactile, the tactile somatosensory sense is to learning and to uh, to learning speech as a child, and how normal adults actually use speech. So tactile biofeedback is simply using or training within the mouth correct tongue placement and coordination via the sense of touch. And it works by integrating this sense of touch and feeling into what you naturally would use in articulation training, namely visual cues, auditory cues, or verbal cues. And adding this sense can greatly expedite learning. Uh, so it is greater than the sum of its parts. And, and then it allows you to enhance muscle motor memory, which is very important. And the emphasis here is on coordination and placement, not on strength. The assumption being strength, very rarely the main reason a child is struggling with speech sounds. It's primarily coordination and placement because as you may know, speech is the most complex thing we do on a regular basis from a motoric standpoint. And more and more, tactile biofeedback is endorsed by uh, research and clinical leaders in our field as an effective means to expedite the learning process with speech sound disorders. And some of you may already realize, and that's why I'm going dis to uh, discuss briefly these improvised items. You may already use tactile feedback already. For example, you may use coffee stirrers or tongue depressors or even peanut butter. But you understand, probably intuitively, how you want to get inside the mouth to train, place, and Get that child to feel correct placement. Well, that's what tactile biofeedback is all about. And just as a summary, these are handheld tools. Uh, they're not attached to the client in any way or uh, anything like that. They're handheld for a clinic, clinicians to have maximal control um, to get inside the mouth, to cue directly inside the mouth during speech. They are um, meant to correct, correctly and consistently train uh, tongue placement, uh, correct tongue placement, and they're Focus on the hardest to learn speech sounds, these later developing speech sounds like R, L, CH, S, and SH. These are sounds um, that I'm sure you've had at some point in your careers, um, some challenges in training. They're also speech sounds whose uh, crucial tongue movements occur behind the teeth barrier. That's, of course, a challenge. We want to be able to provide cueing that will really help with these sounds and, and visual cueing doesn't help as much because the teeth are in the way simply. Uh, verbal cues even for children without uh, a documented language disorder. Children have trouble with often those verbal cues and auditory cues are certainly important. However, auditory cues um, or auditory bombardment is something that they've been experiencing their entire lives. They've been hearing correct R from most other communication partners and yet that's not enough to get them to learn how to do the sound correctly. So we need something else.